Namaste. Today I am going to talk about spirituality, mythology and the impact of life. Now many people don't understand Puranas are not written vaguely. They are patterns of destiny which unfolds in a person's life. That is why Puranas are re-read and again and again. They say the history repeats itself. In Purana, the patterns of destiny keep on repeating in a person's life. So please understand Puranas have a very very deep impact. Now I will give you an example of Purana of Lord Ram. Lord Ram had a particular pattern. He had a pattern. He was born in one place, got educated in one place. He got married in another place. He met an enemy out of the continent and uh, he, he underwent a lot of changes. The same manner, people are either inside or outside. Duryodhan had a lot of good things happening to him in one place. He was born in Hastinapur and he became the king of Hastinapur and everything happened in Hastinapur itself. So the point is you need to understand the basic concept of inside outside. Now once you understand this in Purana, you can apply it in people's life. There are people who are born in one place, they study till 10th in one place, 12th in another place, they study in college in other place and then they try to study, uh, then they try to get married in other place and then they try to go it across. So the point is, now if the person tries to retro, then he will have a lot of problem. There was a guy who called me up and he said, sir, I'm abroad. Now, do you think I can come back to India and get a work? I said, no, you can't go in retro since you have gone, go further. That is how your life will be better across the person. Now, he did not understand Whenever you go retro, you will have a lot of problem. That's what Lord Ram life happened. He went back to Ayodhya. Again, he had a problem with Sita and Sita permanently left him as a person. So Puranas are patterns of destiny which gets echoed in people's life. Now, many people identify with a character. For example, somebody is very giving, we call him Karna. Somebody is very mean, we call him Duryodhan. Sometimes somebody is a very elderly man who guides other people like Bhishma. There can be only two types of students. One is like that of the great Arjuna or that of Ekalaiva. Ekalaiva was a self-taught. He took the great Drona as an inspiration and he started developing so much of skill equivalent to that of Arjuna. That is a self-taught student. Arjuna is finding the right teacher. Arjuna is finding the right guru in a person's life. That's all. Now, once you understand this particular concept of a good student and a bad student, you will be able to decipher out a lot of things. See, this is a pattern of destiny. The other one is there are two types of gurus. The guru is like Drona. A guru for good and bad and a variety of people, he became a huge guru. And there are people like Krishna, who is a guru, but who camouflages it, but who knows a lot of things. And therefore, please understand 
that there are two types of gurus a guru like drona who trains a lot of people in skill there are gurus like krishna who actually are very good with their skill but who camouflage just a variety of thing so you need to come to an understanding that puranas not only represents the character when somebody is very negative when somebody is very manipulative what do we tell him we tell him he's like sakuni mom for example the the what you call it as there was a guy in the up politics who was very close to uh mr malayam singh yadav his name was amar singh and uh, people called him and told him he's like sakuni mama he's like a sakuni he tries to create a lot of problem for others and he tries to create a lot of difficulty for others and he called him as uh, sakuni so the main problem with many people is they are not only identify the character but remember these puranas do represent the a lot of thing for example there are hinduja brothers there are four brothers and they are very financially very very successful as a now you take the most of the asuras will be three in brothers for example the skanda purana talks about the three asuras and uh, the ravan had three brothers ravan kumbakarnan and of course the 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 great vibhishan so the point is you understand these kind of patterns do get repeat now there are people there are women who have multiple affairs for example draupadi life is said to have five uh, brothers and sisters a uh, five brothers she had an affair but it looks it is impossible i saw a documentary in assam the assam the these these kind of uh, models of marriage are still a prevalent a uh, women getting married to five men five brothers because they don't want the property to get segregated they don't want to lose out on the property so they get married to the same women and all of them take turn to live one day at a time so the point is now many people uh, don't think a people like uh, draupadi exist they do exist if you see the actress if you see them they having multiple affairs they meet a multiple of people such is the easy thing you can look into it the second one is there are people like sita we tell him oh she's like sita very calm very collected very composed very inish very feminine across now this is also a representation of what you call it as the not only the character but the pattern of living across and also if you see normally people suffer a lot for 14 to 15 years that is the same vanava story of pancha pandava i know one of my friend who actually came back and he told me he said i don't want to have my vanavas i want to come out of it as a person so the point is we can see people have 14 to 15 years of very very difficult time then they come out of it remember purana also carry the nakshatra i have seen lot of people who are punarvasu cannot get along with their parents they are away from the parents they really love the parents but there seems to be a lot of misunderstanding now i know there are a lot of jeshta they put on weight now jeshta is the nakshatra of lord vinayaka not hasta jeshta is the nakshatra of vinayaka they love to eat good food they love sweets they are very educated they are very intelligent they love to write a lot now if you see that is a character of that deity now for example ashwini 
most people are very good with medicine ashwini kumara is supposed to be the representation of the god so the point is joseph campbell talks about the man with a thousand mask he says mythology represents the hero's journey no it's not only hero's journey it represents the very character itself for example asile shah most of them uh, will be like last born is the is the chaturgan nakshatra ram lakshman and the bharatan chaturgan nakshatra so you repre- you understand tirubona is supposed to be lord tirupati's uh, balaji's nakshatra now once you understand this once you understand that the nakshatra will give the character and the shape and also rogini i've seen lot of people who worship parmal as a rogini as their children rogini born as their children so if you are a strong vaishnavite normally you can have rogini punarvasu tribona all these nakshatra people are born so such is the power of the puranas so please don't underestimate it is said in skanda purana whenever saturn moon combines together in rogini there are a lot of calamity happen actually that happened that was the wtc tower so the wtc tower was hit by the uh, the muslim terrorist so the point is you please understand puranas carry a lot of value there's a lot of meaning it's not only it has a uh, astrological combination but also medical sequencing the uh, the usage of mercury and all that thing such is the power of the puranas so please don't underestimate it try to read it from a very deeper perspective you will understand a lot i have used to read even in english that the puranas carry a lot of thing the east to west story is ramayana north to south story is that of duryodhana the 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 pancha pandava represents a fight among the family it represents the hero's journey ram represents the hero's journey so therefore purana carry a lot of value please utilize it thank you